Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. In my garden column this week, I wrote about the Friends of Manitou Fall Plant Sale. It is this Saturday, September 9th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're not familiar with the Friends of Manitou, it is a wonderful organization of volunteers who work tirelessly throughout the year to raise funds to help support and beautify Manitou Park. And let me tell you, all of us from this area love Manitou Park because it is absolutely gorgeous. Now you might think fall is a bad time to plant perennials, but actually the opposite is true. That's because the temperatures will be cooler, we'll hopefully be getting some precipitation soon, and so the plants will have all fall and winter to develop a wonderful root system and then grow great the next year. So I have all kinds of tips for you so that you have the best success with growing perennials. Let's get started. When you're shopping for plants, always take a good close look at them to buy the best plants possible. I always will choose a plant that has nice foliage on it instead of one that is maybe spindly with a whole bunch of flowers on it because the foliage is the important part. Be sure to take a good close look at the plant tag because it's there to help you. It will tell you how tall and wide the plant will be, how much moisture it needs, the type of light it requires, such as sun, shade, or part shade, and most importantly, what hardiness zone it will grow in. Always choose the right plant for the right place. If you can't plant your purchases right away, or it's just too darn hot, which is a very bad time to plant things, move your plants to a shady area and water them regularly. You do not want them to dry out, and that's what containers do very quickly. It will stress the plants and get them off to a horrible start. At home, choose a good spot in your garden that will meet the plant's needs. Slip off the pot and look at the roots. Are they really thick and matted together? Are some circling inside the pot? Break them up, pull them apart, and straighten the circling roots because that way the plants will grow really well. You want to dig a hole that is the depth of the root ball and about one and a half times the diameter. And I'm not putting any fertilizer in the hole because I don't want the roots to burn and I just want them to slowly grow over the fall and winter months. Once you backfill the hole, make sure that you press it around the root ball so that you eliminate any air pockets. This is very important. And I always like to tuck the plant tag behind the plant so it's not terribly noticeable, but if I forget what kind it is, which is entirely possible, I'll have something to refer to. Now, just in case you thought you were completely done, I have one more recommendation for you that will help ensure the best success. And that is to put a few inches of mulch down around the plants. I'm using some grass clippings from an untreated lawn. I have some garden debris that's been shredded in here. You could use shredded leaves, bark mulch, anything along those lines. Now this is going to do three important things for the plants. One is it will help keep the moisture in the soil, which is very important. Another is it will impede weed growth, and I love that idea. But what's really important is that during the winter months, it will help moderate the soil temperature somewhat. And that way you will avoid having plants heaved out during the freeze-thaw cycles that occur during the winter. And there's no way that plant roots can stand a chance against those bitterly cold temperatures if they've been heaved out of their hole. So definitely put down some mulch and they'll do great. And last but not least, I've put together a slideshow so you can see our gorgeous Manitou Park. Enjoy and have a great week.